Why advocate to that guy's movement? Because the zeitgeist movement is like the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's make sure the light is enlightening. Two is better than one. I first heard of the zeitgeist movement First, it was not a movement, it was just zeitgeist. It was this friend of mine, and his name is Popov. He's French, but he's Russian. He had this movie, it was not a video, it was a full-length movie. He didn't buy it, he didn't sell it to me, he just gave it to me. He's got huge memory in his head and on a hard disk, many hard disks. And he gave me a copy of that Geist, the movie. Watched it. And it kind of changed my life. First, it was all about religion and uh, about a lot of crap crap that religions are and it was about the monetary system it explained the mechanism of the monetary system and it makes you think then it was about 9-11 so that guy was okay I say, well, there's something cooking there. And, you know. I went to my uh, Café Philo, as I uh, do every fortnight, twice a month. This is something we do in France, we philosophize. On est des philosophes. And a lot of uh, people there are German, or speak German. And when I said that guy, they say, oh yeah, I ring the bell, that guy, what is it? They told me it was Kant, and it was a German philosophy. I asked them what it meant, what the words that guy meant. And they told me it meant the spirit of the time. L'esprit de l'époque. Then came the year 2009, and there was a second movie called That Guy's Addendum. You'll find it. And there they were, they were not complaining and uh, making criticizes. They were bringing solutions. And that's when this, a movement started. And I got interested and more involved. Then came the third movie, Zeitgeist, moving forward. Well, I think it lasts two hours, so I'm not going to sum, him up, sum it up. All I can say for you people, is that you have to look it up for yourself. Google it up. Don't use Google. Don't use Google. Use XQuick. I'll tell you why. Google is a search engine. XQuick is a meta search engine. It uses nine search engines, including Google. Okay, I'll tell you how it's spelled. Zeitgeist is spelled Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T. 
X quick. It's spelled I X Q U I C K. And of course there is Peter Peter Joseph. Peter Joseph. My guru. He doesn't want to be considered as a guru. I mean people say, oh Zygast movement, this is a sect. What are they up to? It's not a sect. They don't ask for any money. You don't have to join. There is no membership card. And there is also Jacques, French name, Fresco, sort of American name. We are in a bit of a hurry as far as uh, Jacques Fresco is concerned because I think he's uh, 94 or maybe 95 by now. And Peter Joseph, the guru, I have a secret. Right here, I have a picture of Peter jo Joseph on my wall. I'm sure he would not approve. <coughs> I do it for fun because he wouldn't prove it. Now we have to be nice to Peter Joseph because he gets death threats. He does. So why do I advocate the Zygast movement? Because in my life I've been dealing with money and it taught me how bad the money system was, the monetary system. It's bullshit. I had to work to do stupid things, prostitute myself almost, in order to make a living. Well, I didn't prostitute myself. I had interesting jobs. Yeah, maybe I told you, translating, computers, writing a little bit. What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. The Zygast movement wants to get rid of the money. What they're saying is we have to make an invent inventory of what's available on that f planet. The planet is finite, fin limited. We have one Earth. The other planets are very, very far away. And uh, we have to make an inventory of what's on it and provide access to people. You don't need to own a car. You use your own car a few minutes a day. All you need is to have access to a car which is there for, for you to use. No more money, access to the resources. Well, it is called a res uh, resource-based economy. I mentioned that in a video before. And I'll come back. I'll be back with it. Now, if you're interested, see the movies. There are three movies. And there is a fourth one, Cooking. Maybe it's available now. It's called Zeitgeist Behind the pe Behind the pale. It more or less means on the other side of the fence. Like thinking out of the box. I think that's what it means. I haven't seen it yet. I'm eager to see it. So what you do, you, you've got the keywords. Peter Joseph, it's called P. Spell P E T R Joseph J O S E P H. Oh, Jacques Fresco. Fresco is F R E S C O. Jacques is without the S. It's J A C Q U E. Look them up, and then you will learn by yourself. I believe that things you don't understand by yourself you will never understand. That's all for now.